Hi guys, welcome back. It's John here. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about um, Kumite um, and how to improve and further develop um, from the previous video that we explored. A few drills and exercises that you can do um, to help increase fitness, um, agility, um, explosive technique, speed, um, range of motion um, within the hips and stuff like that. So th those are the few kind of um, subjects that you sort of, that I'll be dealing with um, with these uh, circuits or exercises. Remember, when you're performing these exercises, you can do it like I'm doing it today um, as a circuit, um, or you can just practice individual exercises to help your skill with those, um, and, and just sort of have a go, do it for time or for repetitions, and have a rest, and then perform it again. And what that'll do is that'll help improve. Um, the skill and ability in that particular exercise, when you do it in a circuit, you, you'll be able to perform it a bit better when you're a bit tired and things like that. Okay, so we're going to talk about our, our exercise today. As you can see, we've got lots of bits of kit and things like that, um, and, but I'll, I'll give you, you know, alternatives for that that you can use today. We, this first one we call a four cone drill, um, and this is going to help with speed and footwork, um, agility, uh, all that kind of stuff, and it's also going to be a good little sort of warm up um, to, to prepare you for, for the rest of these exercises. Remember, you do want to have a little bit of a warm, you do want to have a bit of a stretch before you start going for it, um, you know, uh, straight off the bat. So, the four, first drill we're going to do is a four cone drill, and you're just trying to get, you're trying to sprint as fast as you can this first, and then from there, you're going to explode off that leg as quick as you can, you're going to go backwards and then across here as fast as you can. So this sideways motion here, um, that sort of mimics um, the footwork that you perform uh, during Kumite. There's a lot of this kind of motion coming in, coming back, uh, it gets your feet going. Um, so sort of full speed you're here. You can perform that, you can do it for repetitions, um, or you can do it for 30 seconds, whatever you prefer. I tend to do it sort of three or four times and then move on to the next uh, exercise. Right, explosive power now. All right, okay, so we're going to look at this punch again. In the previous video, we did just a normal punch. Today, we're going to up the ante and we're just going to add a bit of weight. You can, you know, you can use a household object, whatever you want to do. Um, we have a purpose built weight with a handle for today. So, again, you've got a target, you could use a door or a wall or something like that. And you're just trying to perform the punch as fast as possible, each repetition. Not just going one after the other after the other as quick as you can. Instead, focusing on doing it as fast as you can, each repetition. So, performed on Bob or Slam Man, we're here. I'm just trying to get the hand to go as fast as I can. Bit of a shuffle in, like that. And this is the, the power and the, uh, the explosiveness develop because this acts as resistance, okay? Um, so you're, it's, it's weighted, weighted punch. You've got to put it out there and pull it back, so it's going to help develop the speed of your punch. Our third exercise is going to be the ladder. This is all about, um, again, agility with the, with the footwork and the speed. Uh, a lot of skill depends on your ability to perform good footwork during Kumite. You know what I mean? You're moving from uh, one combination to the other, you're suddenly coming forward, and then you're on the defensive, you're blocking, so the feet need to be on point. People that are very static and very flat-footed tend to struggle um, when performing Kumite. So, what you're doing, essentially, is you're coming in and out like that each time. Bang. Coming in, you don't come all the way out, you leave your foot in, you make a fast drill here, and you can do twice each square, like that. One, two, one, two, one, two, like that. Okay? Obviously, you're going to be performing it at speed as quick as you can. Um, and this sort of, you know, it, it simulates coming in and coming out. Because that's, that's generally what, what you're trying to do. You know, you're coming in, coming out change the direction, um, so this is going to help you with, with, with those footwork bits. Our next one is a 
lunge hip twist. This is going to help with hip mobility and full range of motion within that because we talked about this in the last session with our bent knee um, twists on the floor. Today we're going to do it, you don't have to have a weight, you can do it with just your hands, but it's just going to help you to develop that stretch in the hip which will help you, you know, for one it will help you get a bit more range, if you're just punching like that, okay, you know, or here you can get way more range on that reverse punch if you've got good hip flexibility. And, you, and the other point as well is you're going to be able to develop a bit better snap um, and, and just speed with that hip, you can, check, you can snap it quite quickly. So again, just like the weighted punch, I'm going to add resistance today, I'm going to have a medicine ball to, to have a bit of resistance. So to perform it, or you, you lunge in and you lunge over the leg that's out, symbolising that big stretch for that hip position here, you come back, you step out, twist it away. You do it with nothing in your hands, just here, nice straight back, head up, twist, that's going to symbolise that technique there. The resistance comes in, because we have a medicine ball here, here, big twist, explosive resistance, like that, every repetition. So again, it's gonna it's gonna up your fitness, it's gonna get you out of breath, it's gonna make your heart work harder, it's gonna burn fat, it's gonna do all those things. But don't just go through the motions and do it as quick as you can. Make sure each repetition you're trying to stretch. Um, that hip across a bit further. Our last drill, okay? Um, I've got tape on the floor. Easiest thing you can do that in your back garden or in, in I don't know, a room in your house, something you can perform at home. Same with the ladder, you could do that with tape or just a line or a belt. You could lay your karate belt along the floor. Um, and this one is going to be sort of a combination of a few things. Today I'm going to pick a combination, a nice simple one, two punches and a round kick. You can change that, okay? You can change legs, there's lots of different variations you can do this, but I'm going to give you this one today um, for you to have a go. So, you start in the middle, this is a cross, these are the points you're using, okay? Alright, um, and all you're going to do is you're going to come in, develop, do your combination at this point, shuffle back. Okay, then you're going to change direction. Okay, today I'm going to go anti clockwise, I'm going to turn to here and perform my combination. Again, here, and I turn to here, and back, turn, back to the start like that. Now, what's the point in this? You're never going to have four people. This is an exercise, obviously, of getting the combination, getting back, and then changing position. Quite often people come in, do their combination, come out and just stand there. You know, you if someone's coming towards you, you want to be light on your feet, you want to be moving as quick as you can. Um, but that requires a lot of energy and a fair degree of fitness. So practicing this sort of thing um, is going to help you. Okay, time to perform um, the circuit. That's how we're going to perform this today. I'm going to put all these together and perform it as a circuit. You know, you guys can just practice these exercises um, on their own. Having that rest will really help you because you'll be able to perform these exercises a lot more efficiently if you've had a bit of a rest. But we want to get fitness, don't we? And putting these together is going to really test you um, and, and uh, increase that fitness, okay? So, uh, let's get going. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this four cone drill. We're going to go around it four times, okay? Here we go, ready? Ten. 
Change hands, 10 on the other side.